Facciamo prendere il volo ai tuoi sogni. Sei su Radio Dream On Fly. Welcome back here where we are talking about Dubai. Welcome back here where your dream can be real. Today we are talking about Dubai, but specifically about islands and palms. And who better to discuss uh, this with than our friend Malak Habahi, a real estate agent living about working in Dubai. Malak, here the game gets interesting. Yeah. We are talking about islands, right? What does that mean? Yeah. So, uh, today, since we're going to be talking about islands, so we have Dubai men's main islands, notably like the Palm Islands, they are architectural marvels representing ambition and innovation. Like Palm Jumeirah was the first of its kind, which was completed in 2006, setting the stage for other uh, islands like Palm Jabal Ali and Palm Dira. These islands are shaped like palm trees, So it epitomizes Dubai vision for luxury living and waterfront front development. In addition to these palm islands, the World Island Project stands as another testament of Dubai vision. Shaped like the world map, uh, comprises uh, almost 300 islands, offering unique uh, opportunities for residential, commercial and leisure developments, which makes these uh, projects together Dubai's commitment to pushing boundaries and redefining responsibilities or possibilities, captivating the world with their like grandeur and ambition. Wow, uh, islands, uh, uh, that's very good. But I have a curiosity. Yeah. Are islands under construction or are ready ready? So for these uh, islands specifically, Palm Jumeirah is fully completed and operational, while Palm Jabal Ali and Palm Dira are still under construction. But when we talk about uh, islands like within the World Island Project, there are uh, there's some that are operational, they're inspired by the European culture and heritage, others are still under development. Let's say Germany Island, Lebanon Island, Sweden Island, and St. Petersburg Island. These are operational and you can visit them anytime. While the other, in the other hand, within the Heart of Europe project, there we have Monaco, Portofino, and the main Europe Island, which is serving a hub of Heart of Europe project. These are still under development. Uh, with ambitious plans for hospitality and entertainment and resi residential offerings. Well, I can see to, to see them. Uh, but uh, who is yeah. the builder and who is the typical client? So the builder for uh, these projects, uh, for specifically Palm Jabal Ali and Palm uh, Jumeirah, Palm Dira, is Nakhil Properties. Nakhil Properties is a leading real estate developer here in Dubai, very known here uh, for their ambitious projects and innovative urban planning. When it comes to the world's island or heart of Europe in general, since it consists like 300 man, like man-made islands shaped like the world map, Nakhil also was involved in this project in the initial uh, stages. Although, on the other hand, uh, regarding heart of Europe, which features inspired uh, European architecture and culture. The main developer is Kleindienst Group, a real estate property developer based in Dubai, and they are responsible for the concept, the design, and construction of uh, the island within this project. Here, of course, we are talking about a higher-level market, so the payment plan is no longer an issue. But surely we can talk about funds, maybe even at the international level, organized to develop business activities on these islands, right? Can you talk yeah. about something more and go in depth of these topics? So, uh, if we're going to be speaking about the typical clients and people or the funds for these projects, we can say that high net worth individuals, like wealthy individuals who seek exclusive and luxurious properties, often invest in private islands. Like, you know, someone can buy an island for personal use or as part of their investment portfolio. Uh, also, we have real estate investors, investors looking for unique and high value opportunities, We have hospitality and resort developers, companies like who special, specializes in luxury hospitality and resorts, may acquire islands sometimes 
for their projects to create upscale resort, hotel, and entertainment complexes. On the third, like we have business magnets or celebrities in general, prominent figures such as business leaders, uh, celebrities, uh, like football players, royalties may be attracted to these pre prestigious and the privacy that it offers by owning an island or a unit or a property in such a project, uh, especially in Palm Island or the World Island. And also, lastly, we have international buyers from around the world, including individuals who might be interested in acquiring islands within these projects for various pur purposes, such as residential or commercial leisure. Wow. And what I can add overall, the clientele for these islands typically consists in affluent individuals who are seeking luxury, exclusivity and investment opportunity for one of the most iconic innovative real estate markets in the world, which is Dubai. Well, that's a very good place where we can dream. Uh, thank you very much, Malak, to make me dreams about Dubai and to have uh, an island to be built. Uh, how can we contact you? First, thank you so much for having me today. And you can contact us on, through the number 00971-5858-93969 or email address malak at aicapital.ae. And we are also in all social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and all the social media platforms. Thank you very much, Rale Malak. And uh, I remember even to our listeners to follow back uh, in our next podcast uh, where you can dream again in Dubai. Thank you very Perfect. much. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. <laughs> Thank you, too, for your Thank time. You. See you. Bye bye. bye. Have a good Ciao. day. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Facciamo prendere il volo ai tuoi sogni. Sei su, Sei su. Radio Dream on Fly.